Hey y'all, it's Eric, your course manager, coming at you one last time to talk a little bit about how we can create a linear regression from data. In my previous example, I graphed out the frequency of different types of Pokemon over the generations. I'm going to start with that same graph this time around, except instead of going and looking at the types of Pokemon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the average strength of different types over time. I can do that by changing the metric down here. So instead of record count right here, what I want is I want to bring over the SP attack and I'll put that here under record count. Remember, it's going to default to a sum. So instead, I want to convert that to an average for that, that type of Pokemon. And now we see a graph that looks something like this. I still have the type filter up here, so I can click on that and then select the type of Pokemon I want. I feel like this graph is too busy otherwise. So let's just take a look at water Pokemon. So as we can see, this graph kind of swings around wildly. And if I were going to make a prediction about where I think this graph is going to go in the future, how might I do that? Well, a simple way to do a linear regression is to come under the Style tab over here. And for this particular series, this is going to be my Series 1 because I only have this one displayed right now. I can come down here and there is a new option that says Trend Line. I can select linear right here as a trend line and then what it's going to do is going to extrapolate what that power is looking like over time in that way if somebody were to ask me what power level do i think a generation 11 water pokemon would be at i can find the 11 down here on the series the generation come up and then go over and i could say well it's going to be about an average of 98 and of course if i want to create several different graphs i can do that i can come up here and select the different pokemon that i want for instance if i wanted to see the trend of psychic over time i can look at that if i wanted to see how fire pokemon are faring i can do that and so using this simple trend line feature we can predict data and how it might evolve over time as with all graphs within google data studio i can come in and i can edit the look of it One thing that we are missing is the R squared value, which is a very important number, which determines how closely the data fits this trend line. So in data such as this, where it's swinging wildly back and forth, we can assume that this trend line is probably not going to be very accurate to predict. This graph could just as easily in generation eight or nine jump way up here again, and then that trend line would be thrown way off. So we have to be careful when we see these huge hills and valleys surrounding a trend line, the more of that disturbance we see, the less reliable this trend line or this linear regression is going to be. And so that's how we do predictive analysis using Google Data Studio. So give it a try. Looking forward to seeing your creations. This has been Eric, your course manager. Until next time.